Do you want to play with blocks? No. Do you want to sing a song? No. Do you want to play dress up? No. Come on, let's play the story of the little red hen. Please, we'll make a perfect cat. Please, please. Okay. Yummy. Let's eat. You didn't help me plant the grains. You didn't help me harvest the wheat. You didn't help me carry, grind, or bake. But now you want to eat? Meow. I did all the work myself, and now I will eat myself. So the little red hen ate, for she was hungry from her hard work. Cat helped her friend plant more grain, and together they baked lots more bread to share. And, and they, they both lived happily ever after. The end. Do you want to bake something else together? Sure. Let's make a cake with pumpkin in it. Pumpkin Yum. is so good in cake. This is going to be delicious. Okay. We could add some um, vegetable too to make it really healthy. Yeah, very healthy. I really like this red brick. It matches my shirt. 
How cool! This blue one is really awesome. I love the way that it's just in the middle. <laughs> okay, guys, we need to build a just really better. tall skyscraper. We just better not knock it Hi. down. Oh. Our tower! It's okay. Let's build it again while we play the three little pigs. The three little pigs? Yeah! Here, I'll be Mama Pig. And you'll be my three kids. One, two, three. Little pigs, you're not little anymore. It's time for you to build houses of your own. Oh, Mama, I'll miss you. A house of my own? Sounds great. Now, be sure to build strong, safe houses and watch out for the big bad wolf. That big old bully will try to gobble you up. Goodbye, piggies, and good luck. Bye. 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 Okay, I'll be the pig who makes my house out of straw. But we don't have straw. Oh, then I'll use this blanket. Come on, help me. There we go. All done. How fast was that? Now it's some time to relax. See you later, piggies. Bye. I don't think that fort looks very sturdy. Do you? I think I'll make my house out of that cardboard box. But that's a box. That's OK. I'll draw the sticks on. This is my house of sticks. It's way stronger than my brother's, and it didn't even take that long to make. See ya, sister. Come visit anytime. Now you can be the pig who... Makes their house out of bricks. Yeah. Here, I'll help you. And I build a strong house that will never come down. That's right. But as the three little pigs began to enjoy their new houses, they started to hear scary rumors that the big bad wolf had come to town. Oh! Mmm, I smell pigs. I bet there's a little pig in here. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. <gasps> ah! Help! 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 Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Not by the hairs on my chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Oh! Oh! Ah! Help! 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 <laughs> little pigs, little pigs, let me come in! Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins! Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in! Oh! 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 Why won't this house fall down? Because this house is made by strong bricks that will never come down. Ouch! Go away, bully, and never bother us again. So the big bad wolf went away and never came back again. And the little pig showed her sister and brother how to make strong houses that will never come down. And they all lived happily ever after. The, the end. end. Hey guys, I want to build a really big castle. <laughs> I want to build like a super, super tall tower. Let's do it. Sounds like fun. I'll help. Picking <laughs> the blue ones. No, the other one is yellow for the tower. My favorite color is red. No, all the red ones. Just pile all the red ones. Yeah, let's turn it down. This is it.
You can't catch me. Aha! Tag, you're it. Now I'm tired. Me too. Do you want to play something else? Sure. What should we play? Hmm. How about the five little fish? Okay. Can I be the shark? Yeah. And I'll be the five little fish. Ready? Ready. Five little fish swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, quiet as can be, and snap. Uh-oh. Four little fish swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, quiet as can be, and snap. Three little fish swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, quiet as can be, and snap. Two little fish swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, quiet as can be, and snap. One little fish swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Shark. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, quiet as can be, and snap. No more little fish? But don't worry, the five little fish came back with all their friends and told Mr. Shark they didn't like being snapped at. And Mr. Shark told all the fish that he didn't like being teased. And, and they, they all played, played together, together without any more fights. What do you want to play now? Let's see who can get more seashells. Okay. Swim closer, children. I have a story for you. Story time. <laughs> tell it, tell it. I will, I will. Okay. Once upon a time, very, very deep in the clear blue sea, there lived a little mermaid. I know this story. Maybe. But this story has been told by humans and merfolk for hundreds of years. And every time it's told, it's a little bit different. Tell it, please. <laughs> OK. So this little mermaid lived with her big sisters and her father. King Triton, ruler of the ocean. That's right. Her father ruled over all the creatures of the ocean. That is, except the wicked sea witch who was jealous of his power. Now, this little mermaid was a bright, thoughtful girl who was always asking questions about the world above the ocean. She carefully collected and studied all of the land objects that sank down to the ocean floor, like a ship's anchor, a fork, and especially a statue of a boy who had no fish tail, but instead two long legs on which to stand. At last, the Little Mermaid came of age and was allowed to rise up and explore the surface of the ocean. And there she saw an enormous ship where a human prince was celebrating his birthday as well. As the Little Mermaid watched in wonder, a terrible storm struck, and the crashing waves knocked the prince from his ship. But the brave Little Mermaid battled the waves and swam with the prince to a nearby beach. Once the prince was safe on shore, the Little Mermaid sang him a song more beautiful than any human had ever heard before. But just as the prince was about to open his eyes, a search party of humans arrived and the little mermaid leapt back into the sea. So the prince never got to see who saved his life. That's right. But the prince was determined to find this brave young woman whose beautiful voice he would never forget. And the little mermaid, who had also fallen in love with the prince, was now more determined than ever to find a way to live on land. 
Sea witch. <laughs> That's right. The little mermaid went to the sea witch and begged her for a way to become human. The sea witch agreed to give the little mermaid legs, but only if the little mermaid gave the witch her beautiful voice. And worse, if the prince did not return the little mermaid's love and ever married another, the little mermaid would have to return to the ocean and belong to the sea witch forever. Why would she agree to that? Well, the little mermaid was brave and determined and she might not have thought through all of the bad things that could happen. Plus, she was in love. Ew! <laughs> in any case, the little mermaid agreed to the sea witch's deal and was given legs. And finally able to leave the ocean, the little mermaid was thrilled to be able to explore the wide world above. She met the prince, who thought that there was something special about this young woman. Although she could no longer speak to tell the prince that she was the one who saved his life. Still, the prince welcomed the little mermaid into his palace, where he was struck by her kindness, her sense of humor, and especially her interest in absolutely everything. Uh-oh. That's right. The sea witch grew worried that the prince would marry the little mermaid, so she used her wicked magic to give a visiting princess the little mermaid's voice. And upon hearing that beautiful voice, the prince thought that he had found the young woman who saved his life, and so he made plans to marry the human princess. Couldn't she write him a note or draw a picture or something? Well, the Little Mermaid did have one possibility. The Little Mermaid's sisters had gone to the Sea Witch and given her all of their beautiful hair in exchange for a dagger, which the Little Mermaid could use to stab the human princess and stop the wedding. But even though the Little Mermaid knew that she would have to return to the ocean and belong to the Sea Witch, the Little Mermaid was not hurt the human princess. On the day of the wedding, the sea witch came to claim the Little Mermaid. But the brave Little Mermaid used the magical dagger to stab the sea witch. And with that blow, the sea witch lost her power over the Little Mermaid and her voice returned. And the prince realized that it was the Little Mermaid who had saved him. And together, they battled the sea witch. The sea witch was defeated. That's right. The Little Mermaid was able to stay human, and she and the prince became wonderful rulers over their kingdom on land. But they also liked visiting her family's kingdom under the sea. And they lived happily ever after? <laughs> yes, they all lived happily ever after. <laughs> mm, that story was okay. Do you know any scarier ones? Hmm. Well, once upon a time. 18, 19, 20. Ready or not, here I come. Are you... Behind the costumes? No. Okay. Are you behind the bookshelf? Boom! Ah! You scared me. Sorry. Hey, do you want to play Chicken Little? Sure, as long as I get to be the fox. All right. Here you go, little guy. I'll get an acorn. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Just walking around the farm. I'm a big, tall tree. Walk under me. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Just hanging out. My acorn. Ah! My head. Wait, what hit my head? I don't know. It must have been the sky. Help! Help! The sky is falling. Help! You make a great chicken. Now I'm going to be the head. Oh, no, 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 no. Help! Help! The sky is falling! Chicken Little, what's wrong? Henny Penny, Henny Penny, a piece of the sky fell and hit me on the head. And now, the rest of the sky will probably fall and smush us all. The sky is falling? 
The sky is falling! The sky! The sky is falling! Help! Help! Now I'll be the duck. The sky is penny, falling. Penny, Penny, what in the world is going on? Oh, Ducky Lucky, the sky! The sky is falling and it's going to smush us all! Oh no! The sky is falling? The sky is falling! Help! 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 The sky is falling! Now I'll be the fox. No, 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 no. Help! The sky is falling! Oh, Ducky Lucky! What's the problem? Oh, Foxy Loxy, the sky is falling and it's gonna crush us all! And you're sure why? Well, Henny Penny told me and Chicken Little told her. And you're telling me, so it must be true! Come, we better take cover. Here, quick, come to my den. Thank you, Foxy. Yes, this feels much safer. And what about a little duck dinner? A what? Ah! Ducky Lucky ran away from the tricky fox. And Chicken Little, Henny Penny, and Ducky Lucky learned that whenever they're scared, just to take a deep breath and be calm instead. And, and they, they all lived happily ever, ever after. after. Okay, my turn to count. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ready? Now left, right, step, step. Ow! What's wrong? Ow! I stepped on. A pea? A marble! It really hurt! Maybe we should take a break. Want to play the princess in the pea? Yeah! Cool. Crowns. Thanks, your majesty. Of course, princess. But it's way past your bedtime. I guess I need a bed. Here! Don't forget a pillow. Now, right to bed, princess. Oh, and one more thing. Night, Dad. Good night. Dad? Dad! Yes, what is it? I can't fall asleep. But it's late. Okay. Roar! Here you go. Now close your eyes. Sure, Dad. Good night. Good night. Dad? Yes? I can't get comfortable. Will you sing to me? Okay, sure. Skid a marinky dinky dink, skid a marinky do. I love you. Skid a marinky dinky dink, skid a marinky do. I love you. I love you and. Hey! You're supposed to be relaxing. I am! Go to sleep. Good night, Dad. Good night. Dad? What is it now? Can you read me a bedtime story? Fine, but then you have to go to sleep. I have a kingdom to rule in the morning. Thanks, Dad! Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. Dad, can the cat play fiddle? I don't know, dear. The cow jumped over the moon. Dad, there's no way a cow could jump over the moon. Just listen, okay? The little dog laughed to see such fun, and the dish ran away with the spoon. That story's ridiculous! Ugh. Ugh. Dad, I still can't sleep! Hey, what's this? A pea? Dad, no wonder I couldn't fall asleep. Dad? Hey! And that's our 
this story. Of the princess and the pea. The, the end. end. Hey, what should we play next? Let's play marbles. I got a big marble. I got a small marble. Roar! I'm a big scary troll. No, not scary enough. Maybe he needs crazy hair. And big ears. Trolls definitely have big ears. Ready? Roar! I'm a big scary troll. Eh, I guess you're a little scary. I think he's perfect. Let's play. Okay, so where did three Billy Goats grow? Uh, guys, don't we need a bridge? Oh, right. Will this work? Perfect. Awesome, but you'd better be ready. Goats, we've eaten all the grass in our meadow. And I'm so hungry. There's lots of grass over there. Oops, grass. across the river. And you know who guards the bridge? A big scary troll. Roar! I'm a big scary troll. I sure hope somebody crosses my bridge. I'm starving. Come closer, Ghost. I've got the plan. Yes. Amazing. Are you sure this will work? Just stick to the plan. Be careful. Roar! Who dare crib clops on my bridge? It's just me, the little belly goat. Ha! You foolish goat. Now I shall gobble you up. I'm too small to make a good dinner for a big girl like you. But don't worry, my sister will be coming soon. And she's bigger than me. Fine, little goat. I shall eat your big sister. Clip flop, clip flop, clip flop. Safe! Okay, my turn. You'll do great. Roar! Who dare clip clops on my bridge? Uh, me? I'm the medium sized Billy Goat Gruff. Yeah, you are much bigger than your little sister. Now I shall gobble you up. Wait, wait! If you want a really good meal, my big brother is coming and he's even bigger than me. He's huge and delicious like pepperoni pizza. Hmm. He'll be here any minute. Fine, I shall eat your big brother. Clip clop, clip clop, safe! Okay, here I go. Clip clop, clip clop. Roar! Who dat clip clops on my bridge? Hi, I'm the big Billy Goat Gruff. Hmm. You are the perfect dinner for a big scary troll like me. Well, I'm big enough to know you shouldn't go around gobbling people up. Huh? And I'm also big enough to do this. Whoa! Whoa! Yay! Yay! And from then on, the three Billy Goat Gruff ate all the yummy green grass they could have. And that big scary troll never bothered them again. The end! Hey guys, wanna play again? Sure. Yeah, can I be the troll? Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna be the big billy goat grass. I wanna be a billy goat too. Okay. Mother Goose Club Playhouse.